Alrighty, hello everyone. I'm back. Sorry for the lack of updates. Um, actually, won't be putting out any more videos until January first. Kind of doing a Christmas break thing here. Um, did want to real quickly, and I'm gonna have a more thorough video as review for my mod. Um, but whoa, what did I just do? I'm selected on nothing, but there's something there. What am I holding? That's weird. Oh, that's my hand. That's a weird looking hand. Um, using some texture pack, I forget which one. And I guess it gives me a really weird hand. Anyways, be that all as it may, I am using several different mods on this. I don't even know which. But, we're gonna kinda go over just a few of the things I have done to my Morphire mod. Um, borrowing from somebody else's code and their idea. As you, if you've been following my mod at all, I had actual mesh torches that would kind of stick out on an angle. I can't get those to work right. Node boxes, though, you get a top side and bottom option that you can do all in one node. So you have a side, a bottom, and a top. Meshes either don't have that support yet or I am implementing it completely incorrectly. So for the time being we have node box torches which are looking pretty cool. Then we have kindling which let me see if I can make some of here. I think I need a piece of wood. Um, wait. Where'd that piece of wood go? Cannot give empty item. What? Give me default wood for. There we go. I must have typed something wrong. Kindling. What? Is that not considered flammable? What am I doing wrong? There we go. Oh, that's right. It's a stick, a piece of wood, and then two things that are flammable. So in this case, a tulip and some grass. We get kindling, which actually I already have kindling. And then to make kindling contained kindling, we use kindling and put cobble underneath it. Now the reason you want differences here, let me try and find some place safe to perform this experiment. That's our non-contained kindling. This is our contained kindling. I'm going to plant some grass around these two, just like that. Now the kindlings, if we right click on them, it says nothing to burn here. We have to put some material into it to burn it. So it now has wood on the fire, and there's now wood on that fire. However, they will not burn because they have to be lit with a lighter. Well, and there we see why the non-contained kindling, it spreads fire. Hopefully this does not go too far. Oh boy. Spoke too soon. I have just started the world on fire. Alright, well let's run a little distance away. If we put the contained fire... I, what do I have that's flammable that I can... I guess I can burn... Oh wait, I have some dandelions here. Throw some dandelions on the ground next to it. I think wool's flammable. Piece of wood, you can burn that. Okay, and then we are going to put some sticks into the fire. So we have a stack of two sticks in the fire. Grab the lighter here. Okay, we've got the fire burning, now it has sticks, why is it saying put my wood on the fire? Oh, sticks are not considered flammable, I bet. Um, well, we'll just get some more wood here. Not a biggie. And we'll go put these four pieces of wood on the fire. I just put wood on the fire. Okay, I'm not sure... Oh, I know why. Because it'll say put more wood on the fire regardless of whether it's lit or not. 
So see, that's still wrecking carnage over there. This fire will burn peacefully. Won't harm anything. It's set to be not spreadable because it has those little stones around it because those would really do a lot. Now there's another way to do it. You can take your kindling and you can take a torch. And then you can skip the whole step with using the lighter to start it up. Wait, why is it contained? You know, that's another recipe I'm going to have to add. Because in order to do it, you have to take... That's silly of me. I'm going to have to add another recipe. In order to do a contained campfire, you need to use a campfire. And I should be able to use contained kindling, though. And a torch. New recipe to add. It will be added in an update shortly. Um, as you notice, though, the world's still burning. And it'll pretty much burn ad infinitum. It just uses standard fire. So if you have the non-spreading fire mod enabled, your fire won't spread on either of these. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. The lighter, right here, that's just made with flint and steel. You get flint from um, gravel. And then steel obviously comes from, you know, steel ore. But, quick little update there on the progress. Next mod I am starting to work on is a survival mod. I plan on adding some fun elements, sleeping bag, bed of leaves, um, like an energy bar or something, canteen. And I'm going to try and implement those with the uh, hunger mod. And I'll have it so when you sleep in the bed of leaves, the night passes, you get hungry, maybe even lose some health, but it doesn't set your spawn point. And I'll do like a sleeping bag where you... Uh, it will set your spawn point. You won't lose quite as much health, but it still is not going to be as good as an actual bed. So that's going to be fun. Um, and hopefully around January, so that'll be done. And then I will be starting a new Let's Play series, which will be a survival themed, where I am a castaway on a shipwreck, and I pretty much have to um, survive. And we'll see how long I can live. Like the last one where I burnt the world to the ground, and then the game stopped working. <laughs> Because it was too much fire. So, quick little update here. And I'll be back first Monday in January.